Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. This week I was looking into uh, GitHub Copilot. Uh, I thought it's a great idea to give it a try and see how it works, uh, because as advertised, it works well with Python, HTML, JavaScript, uh, SQL, uh, the things that I'm actually working uh, these days. And, uh, you know, instead of uh, spending time going on Google or Stack Overflow, if uh, GitHub Copilot could uh, uh, suggest the code uh, for some utility or routing functions, uh, it's great, it would save time. And based on experience while working this week, I could tell that uh, it already, uh, for a few times, it was uh, able to suggest the proper code for me. And uh, actually what I did, I, I tried to, uh, because I forgot about Copilot, I went on Google, I was trying to find the function that they need, and I was not able to find it, and then I, uh, then I, I thought, oh, I have a copilot, so let's go and try. And I type function name only, and uh, I got, as a result, I got the code that I was looking for. So it was co it was quite awesome. And uh, I'll try to go and I'll continue using copilot, and uh, we'll see how it works uh, in the future. But it seems like it uh, can save your time. Uh, yeah, you need to spend $10 per month, but... Uh, uh, comparing to to the time that you say uh, save uh, that Copilot offers all those uh, out of the box solutions, uh, I think it's uh, justified. So today I'll, I'll show you two examples where uh, Copilot uh, works uh, uh, well and suggests uh, implementations, right? And um, uh, it's based on Python and uh, on Django project. So let's uh, jump to the source code, and this is very basic um, Django application. Uh, it's con it, it's uh, constructed with uh, a simple app uh, project and this one application called base. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Django, this is a settings file and usually when you create uh, this new project and this uh, new application inside the project you need to register application inside uh, settings uh, script. So if I go here, uh, I see that as soon as, soon as I print, uh, press enter uh, to create a new entry in installed apps uh, list, it already uh, actually says that, uh, suggests that I would like to uh, to include simple app, but uh, name, but I think this is uh, not correct because um, the name of the app is base. So we don't accept uh, this uh, uh, suggestion and we start typing and uh, say base and uh, it compl completes um, uh, completes the uh, entry with base but uh, maybe I would like to be more specific and uh, I would say that I would like to use name from base apps base config and uh, suggestion comes out of the box I press tab and I accept uh, accept this uh, uh, suggestion and if you look into the uh, apps script then the name is base uh, is being defined in in this uh, app script so this is how it works yeah so that's one example and another example uh, let's say we want to build a new sample uh, we, we li would like to define new sample model for uh, junk application so i'll type something like um, or let me do something else let me go um, over here and say class base and you see I just type class and uh, copilot suggests that uh, probably I would like to define base model class and uh, yeah uh, like the standard code like created at updated at and, and class uh, meta information is defined uh, what else I, if I type something like uh, task uh, model and you see, uh, maybe I don't want to have a base model, but I want to use task model. And from go, uh, as soon as I type task model, uh, I get back suggestion that uh, I could include task uh, title, description, and other attributes, also uh, meta information, and and uh, and so on. So this is like a standard code when you define uh, Django model. And uh, I press uh, tab and this suggestion was accepted and the code is there. Now the next uh, next thing I could uh, go and modify this code with additional attributes, maybe I, I change some uh, <clears throat> uh, some max length and so on. But um, 
the base code, but the base structure you get from the copilot. And I think it's great because uh, it saves uh, lots of time. Uh, you don't need, like in this example, to remember specifically the structure, how you define a uh, Django model, that you need to have a meta information uh, in uh, internal class, then you need to have a uh, function that returns the string and so on. Yeah, so this is how it works. And uh, as soon as you go along and uh, use Copilot more and more, uh, you kind of get used to it and <clears throat> you understand uh, how it works, how to type the uh, suggestion better to get better results. It's the same like in Google, you learn how you uh, query, how you search for data to get better results. So the same looks like the same with Copilot. And I'm using PyCharm and there's a um, Copilot extension for PyCharm, it's installed over here. Uh, once you install extension, you just connect to your uh, GitHub profile where uh, Copilot instance is enabled. And that's all. Then you also get uh, from tools, you get over here uh, copilot uh, entry. You can say open uh, copilot, and um, there's a special window which can display alternative um, uh, suggestions. So maybe there's one, more than one possible implementation. So you'll get a list on this uh, on this window of uh, possible impl implementations, and you could pick one that works best best for you. Another option with, uh, uh, I think, option tab and uh, 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 right arrow tab, you can uh, also scroll through diff alternative um, suggestions that Copilot uh, recommends, and you could pick up also uh, from the keyboard, uh, using working just with the keyboard, you can pick up alternative um, uh, suggestion. Okay, so, let me go to main screen and uh, yeah, so this was the quick uh, uh, video that uh, shows how to use uh, Copilot in Django and uh, uh, with PyCharm and my point was to share my uh, experience, this very um, early experience just so after one week working with uh, Copilot and I think uh, you should definitely not uh, uh, you should not be lazy to try it out because uh, it's uh, actually uh, seems like it would save your time uh, during development and it would not uh, suggest uh, complete solutions but it would uh, it it helps to suggest um, like a boilerplate code uh, when you create a new function the structure of the function or the structure of the class and then it's much easier to uh, implement more complex logic on top so you don't spend time focusing uh, and thinking how to implement uh, simple things. Rather, you get probably you would, in most of the cases, you would get those simple case from the copilot and you would focus on more complex uh, logic that would, makes, would make more sense for your business. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.